He is part of the most awarded group in country and gospel music. His resume also includes singing alongside Elvis, and he can say at least a couple of presidents are enthusiastic fans, too. We all know Grammy winner Richard Sturban for his unmistakable low harmonies as the bass singer for the Oak Ridge Boys. And now, after more than 40 years in the business, he's paused to write it all down. The book is called From Elvis to Elvira, My Life on Stage. And we are so delighted to have Richard Sturban here in the studio with us. This well, is such a it, fascinating book. Well, thank you. And it's always a pleasure to be back here and, and to talk to you. And thank so it's, you. it's a pleasure to be able to do that again thank this, you this so morning. Much. Yeah. As I said, I said it way too late reading this, but it was a pleasure. I didn't know the early days of your career when you were singing with the Stamps uh, and singing with Elvis. Tell us about that. Well, for about two years prior to joining the Oak Ridge Boys, I sang with J.D. Sumner and the Stamps Quartet. And uh, for about a year and a half of that time, I had the opportunity and the privilege to, to sing with the king of rock and roll, Elvis. And it was an amazing experience in my life. It really was. And in that book, there's some great Elvis stories. You know, Elvis was a great practical jokester. He loved to play practical jokes. And uh, uh, Tell us one. Well, <laughs> there, there was a time when we were playing in Las Vegas where uh, we were doing two shows. Between the two shows, Elvis came into our dressing room and said that he wanted to talk to us. So he asked us to come up to his room, his suite at the top of the Las Vegas Hilton. Uh, and when we got, I'm, I'm going to try to make this pretty quick because okay. it's, it's a long story. Uh, we get up to his suite and uh, he said that uh, they've got, they got a, 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 a call from a guy who's, who will be at the second show to try to get out. Either he was a jealous husband or a jealous boyfriend or something, but he was going to evidently try to shoot Elvis at the show. Uh -huh. And so they said, we want you guys during the show to look out into the audience if you see anyone that's looks suspicious, please let let us know. His bodyguards, Sonny and, and Red, were going to be on right, either side right. of the stage. And so we, we, we let them know, you know, uh, they, they said, let us know. While he was telling us all this, all of a sudden the door of the suite opens and this guy comes running through the door shooting a gun. Oh, no. And all the security guards pull their guns out and they start shooting back. And we all dive. I dove under a table and I was praying, <laughs> oh, please, Lord, don't let me die. <laughs> and... Uh, Elvis fell to the floor. J.D. Sumner got on top of Elvis. And when he got on top of Elvis to protect him, all of a sudden he could, Elvis was laughing so hard he was shaking. It, <laughs> it, it was really a joke. They, they, they were shooting blanks. Right. Was, they were not real bullets, but it seemed so real. It was like unbelievable. And I, I, I remember I was still shaking on the second show that night. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just some of the fun stories that you can find about Elvis. 40 years with the Oak Ridge Boys, you're celebrating with a CD. Uh, it's hard to sum up what this group means to you. Yeah, there's no question about it. I think if you asked any one of the four of us 40 years ago, if we thought here 40 years later, we would still be doing this and doing it at this level. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us would have believed it, but here we are, we're still going strong after 40 years. And, uh, and no talk of retirement. Well, that's the thing. While this is our 40th anniversary tour, it is by no means our farewell tour. Right. Because we, we do not plan to retire. We're, we're still having fun doing this. Isn't that and great? And we still enjoy doing it and looking, looking forward to getting on stage every night. Yeah, and, and continuing to tour. That's, that's true. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And we, we, once again, the last time I was here, I talked about our Christmas show mm -hmm. here in town. And we, we have a big Christmas tour planned again this year. We, we've kind of become known for our Christmas music over the years. And, uh, and we'll end the year, you know, on, on a you know, very nice note doing all over the country singing Christmas songs as well. You know, it's hard to sum up a life in a short interview, but you do yeah. it beautifully in this book. I hope you'll read this. You'll find From Elvis to Elvira, My Life on Stage, wherever books are sold. And you can catch an upcoming concert near you. Just check out Oak Ridge Boys. Boys.com.